are seeing and hearing the rain right now that you've been forecasting really all week. Yeah, and I will say in some ways we've dodged a bit of a bullet today. Thankfully, no tornado warnings for central Alabama did have some to our north and had some in Mississippi, but we do have our first severe thunderstorm warning of the night. So the atmosphere is still a little volatile. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in Coleman County right now. This includes the city of Coleman, Good Hope, down through Dodge City. This will continue making its move over to the east as uh, the storm system crosses over I-65 and Highway 31 towards Simcoe there. Hansville, Bluntsville, you're next, but right now primarily producing strong winds and some heavy rainfall. This is our shear product. This indicates where those really strong winds are. Anytime you see those brighter greens on the screen, that would indicate winds and we're getting some gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour with this particular storm. And that's because the cold front sitting right over Coleman County right now. So that's where the strength of that storm is coming from so heavy rainfall will be aligned with this cold front but notice this line of thunderstorm stretches back towards Jackson Mississippi so we will still remain weather alert for the early evening I think damaging winds going to be our primary concern and we've really focused on that for much of the forecast the last few days uh, still can't rule out a spin up tornado I think our atmosphere is stabilizing though so here's some good news our risk for tornadoes will go down as the night goes on on. That's some great news, but I actually think our flash flooding risk might be going up a bit because these rain showers are becoming a bit more persistent. And if that remains, we could start to see some elevated rises in water in the next one to two hours. So that's something that we are going to have to watch closely. Hail has been on the lower end, so that's good news. Hopefully that will stay that way. But rainfall is going to be the main feature of the sky pretty much for all of us until midnight tonight. But you'll see those chances of rain dropping quickly as we dive into Friday morning. Let me walk you through what we'll see between now and 11 o'clock. Heavy rainfall remains for central and north Alabama all the way up through Gadsden and from Talladega to Alex City. Not going to have as much wet weather until early Friday morning, but this will be non severe as we hit midnight. Our severe weather threat uh, or severe weather threat drops quickly. Heavy rainfall though will persist through those early morning hours. A good sleeping rain till around 5 a.m. in places like Roanoke and Wadawi. But notice the temperatures Friday morning in the 30s in northwest Alabama, low 40s from Birmingham to Alabaster and Talladega. As we move through your Friday, we'll start out with some cloud cover in the morning, followed by a clear sky and cool temperatures by afternoon. And then a frosty start to your Saturday morning. It's going to be a little frigid as we go from Friday into Saturday. 25 Saturday morning in Hamilton, 26 in Fayette, and waking up to those 20s, but we will rebound into the 50s with sunshine by Saturday afternoon. Warm up through the start of next week and then some showers midweek. But look at this. We could be talking numbers near 80 degrees by next Thursday. And that's a look at your seven day forecast. Ashley.